Hello, everybody. Welcome back. TFGO week 15 here. I unfortunately need to announce that Trey Lance has been suspended for a game because I was not paying attention to our yards per completion rules. You cannot go over 16 yards per completion. I'm sure lots of people are going to be asking throughout this game, popping in, wondering why Trey Lance is not playing, but that is why. Just a one-game suspension. I am going to have to pick up a quarterback. So that is the deal. I do not still have Jimmy G cinnamon rolls. I traded him. He would be nice. Uh, Robert Griffin is actually the backup. <clears throat> so I am going to, I think, defend... This guy is number two in passing yards. I'm going to defend medium pass. We're going to go full pads on defense this week. And then my game plan is going to be to run it inside. No, outside. And we're going full pads there. Game plan. We'll go get an interception. We'll go pick it off twice. We'll go 150 rushing yards and... Let's own 70% time of possession. We're going to go big with that one this week. Get some upgrades. So Arden Key, we'll go Finesse Rusher here. Hey, Trackstar, thank you for the Prime sub. Really appreciate the support, my friend. Aaron Banks. It's a good upgrade. Gets a strength boost. We may have to lean on Aaron Banks someday. Luckily, that's not this year. Gosh, Fred Warner. He's only 24 years old. It's so nuts. OJ Howard is back in the lineup this week. All right. Oh, hang on. We got we to gotta pick up a quarterback. So quarterback, we need... Go Jake Fromm. Should we start Jake Fromm? I'm gonna pick him up. Sorry, Chargers. Or would we rather go with Sam Ellinger? Hold on, let's let's revisit that. I think. I think I might start Jake Fromm. Let's see, who's the better quarterback here? He's better than RG3, so let's do it. Can always change it up if we need to. Do we have to make a cut? I'm comfortable doing Marcel Harris. Jeez, Marcel Harris is 27 already. All right, I'm going to cut him. Because I don't think we have... Although well, Josh Norman, eh. yeah, we're going to cut Harris. Is there a list of TFGO rules? You can find them through the application process here. Here we go. Going to need our defense to play big today, guys. Without Trey Lance in there this week. But Matt Ryan versus Jake Fromm is basically a fair quarterback matchup, right? It's basically even. LOL. Uh, you are supposed to be hearing in-game sounds. I probably have it a little low. I appreciate you guys... Uh, Turn it down a little bit. We'll go there. I'd rather you guys say something than say nothing, so thank you. Random guy.
Ah, get on the D-line. There we go. Alright, he's playing well so far. So he's a newish user. He's 8 and 5. We don't know a ton about how good he is, but he's off to a good start. Good defense, guys. This guy hasn't lost since joining. That's scary. Oh, get that ball out. Oh my god, really? Get up, Armstead. What is happening? What? Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, EA. My player broke. He froze after breaking, a, after Matt Ryan breaks a sack. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, unreal. Unreal. Yeah, Matt Ryan looked like Prime Big Ben. Yeah, seriously. Uh, interceptions are never going to be realistic in a Madden league. It's just the unfortunate reality. Nobody's an NFL quarterback, and Madden just generates more BS interceptions. But I am in another league that aims for realistic gameplay, and they're way lower in this one. And we do punish we do punish interceptions. But you're never gonna get totally realistic stats in a Madden league, unfortunately. Good D, good D. How much would I bet Derek Carr is gone next year? It's, I probably wouldn't bet on it. I think it's it's definitely possible. I'd say 20% likely, but I, I would probably wouldn't bet on it happening. Oh! No way! What a throw. I don't know about that one, Jim. Thought his feet were out of bounds, but whatever. All right, good start by him. Damn. Tough plays there. That sack that Matt Ryan broke, just a killer, dude. And then not only does he break the sack, but my defensive tackle glitches out into the turf. All right, Jake Fromm. Number seven. Colin Kaepernick's number, right? Good start. How much would I bet on the Raiders launching a reload versus rebuild year? Yeah, they'll probably... I mean, I feel like the only thing that would separate the difference there would be getting rid of Carr, isn't it? Oh, wow. Great play. Yeah, Lance went over our yards per completion. I went about a third of a yard over. I wasn't paying attention. He was under all season in the last couple weeks. I screwed up. I lean on Kittle this week for sure. Yes, Andy Dalton, Thanksgiving Thursday, baby. Get to see him pick up a win with Dob Bears. Yeah, the last couple weeks, it's been a lot of uh, explosive offensive plays. Grady Jarrett's probably going to blow this up, isn't he? First down. See if Fromm can hit a hit a deep shot here.
Thanks, Debo. Oh, man. Great play by 90. That was a touchdown. This could work. Oh. I was just trying to juke. I was blown up. Do we trust Ayuk over there? Doesn't matter. Oh, Ayuk! From! Let's go! What a throw! Thank you for going to get that, Ayuk. Is it Steelers Bengals this week? That's a that's a huge game. Yeah, Watt Watt and Minka are big X factors there, but I don't know what, who I would pick right now, honestly. Also, I hate to spoil my picks because my boys on Patreon will be getting robbed. Exclusive picks. Although my picks will be public next week on the on the tube. Panther season is essentially over. I don't know about that. I mean, it's basically them and the Niners for the seven seed. What's up, NFL Mastermind? What's up? Team hit worst by injuries this year. Tennessee and Green Bay. Saints, because they lost their quarterback, is obviously a big one too, but that's just really one injury. Also Michael Thomas, although that's kind of Michael Thomas' fault, to be honest. But Packers have had the most uh, players lost, high-level players lost. Or no, not CJ Mosley, Emmanuel Mosley. Let's go. What a play. He fell for my inverted cover three. Oh, he's right there. I didn't even think about the fact that that was a Taylor Heineke homecoming, Justin. Come on, Kinlaw. Let's get a big, big sack here. Oh, get it! No way! Oh my gosh. What the hell? That's nuts. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Darius, get up! Oh, let's go! Darius Williams, baby! Two pick sixes! Hey! Great D. Pass rush got in. Bad throw by Matt Ryan. And what a play by Darius Williams. Fifth interception of the season. Said we needed our defense to step up, and that is that is what we're talking about. Uh, no Halo for me tonight, Grim, but hit me up tomorrow night. I will be uh, available for some Halo tomorrow night. Oh, right into my corner blitz. Oh my gosh. That was such a great call against my corner blitz. Damn. Green lost tired. Justin <laughs> yeah I I immediately saw that and I, I thought of what I said about um, 
Philip Lindsay in my power in my deep dive power rankings, where I was like, Texans fans were mad that I didn't list him as a key addition. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm sorry to tell you <laughs> that he's not. So I wanted to tweet how right I was, and then I was like, eh, you know what? Let me back it off, because I, I do like Philip Lindsay, the person, and I way back in the day was higher on Philip Lindsay because I actually knew who he was before he entered the NFL, whereas a lot of people didn't. There you go, Kinlaw. Playing the run, I like it. Ooh, an overthrow. Thank you, Matt Ryan. Who has the best chance to win MVP? I hate to say it, but I... I'm terrified that Tom Brady's going to win another MVP, which I would hate. I think someone will emerge, though. Kyler or Lamar or Stafford. I think someone emerges. Hell, even Aaron Do um, uh, Not Aaron Donald. Miles Garrett. Good play from. I had to run because Garrett got straight in there. Yeah, JT also has a chance. That's for sure. Oh, that extra, the extra move was so unnecessary, but. Good run by Sermon. Nah, I wouldn't say Brady's been consistent all year. He's definitely had his stinkers. Dak could definitely win both MVP and Comeback Player of the Year. Didn't AP get both of those back in like 2011 or whatever year that was? Yeah, Russ could definitely be on his last legs in Seattle. Oh, what happened there? Oh, Miss Q? Kittle stopped on his route. There you go, Kittle. Isn't it crazy how many teams are giving like top 16 first round picks to other teams because of aggressive trades? We're def definitely seeing the backfiring of the more aggressive trends in the NFL right now with some of this stuff. Oh, is that a false start? Probably. What is Russ's trade value? He's worth probably, I would say two firsts and, uh, and a second, probably. Why did Josh Rosen fall off? He was a pocket passer that needed probably more time to develop than we realized. And he didn't get put in a situation conducive to him developing. Bad offensive lines everywhere he went. Never got a true opportunity. And then a combination as well with, with a lack of work ethic on his side. Thanks, Kittle. Is Russ worth more than Rodgers? Probably because of age, but that's a that's an interesting question. 
I would say probably by a little bit, but I bet there's teams that would, would pay more for Rodgers than for Russ and vice versa. Yeah, that's a, it's true. I mean, Russ, if you just take... Well, that's not necessarily true because he was good to start this season. I was going to say if you took the end of last season, last season and added this season, he's not a, a highly valued remedy, but he's been good this year. Oh, I'd rather have Dwayne Haskins than Josh Rosen at this point. Oh, sack, fumble, recovery. Look at the D. Three touchdowns today. Matt Ryan giving us a stinker. Good to have D Ford back. Missed a few weeks there. Felipe Franks or Tyler Huntley? I guess I would... I'm kind of a, a weird Felipe Franks fan. Huntley's shown more, so there's no reason for me to say Felipe Franks, but... What's up, LaDuca? Oh. I am going to put Kinlaw up here on nose tackle. We should be able to blow up Matt Hennessy here. It does not have good pass block power. Podcast tomorrow, yes. It'll be up uh, more in the evening, I would say. Got a lot of games to catch up on. Got to do some prep. But yes. Oh, get it! That's what I'm talking about. Fred, is this going to be our fourth defensive touchdown? Fred, baby, let's go. Go off, team. Who needs Trey Lance? Who needs an offense? Just scored 28 points with our defense. Will Wagner retire if Russ leaves? I could see them trading him, too, and just re get a new coach that wants to rebuild the whole thing. That actually would be a pretty good, uh, good rebuild there, guys. Just rebuild the team around Jamal Adams and Puna Ford. <laughs> How sad is it that that's, like, their defense? Oh. Just cut Jamal Adams. Oh, what? How did that happen? Jamal Adams would have trade value, yes, probably like a third-round pick, but that the Seahawks wouldn't do it at this point because um, the Seahawks wouldn't do it at this point because they would just look like idiots, and they just gave him a contract extension. So it's just he's one of the most unlikely players to be traded in the NFL, I would say. How disappointing was Julio Jones this season? I, under the radar, really didn't expect much from him. I didn't say it too much publicly. I kind of alluded to it in my deep dive. But I'm not hugely surprised that he has had a hard time staying healthy. So I don't know if it's a huge disappointment. Yeah. 
Yes, Lisa B and I did actually talk about uh, firing Nagy earlier today. Odds for an NFL expansion team in the next couple of years. Um, within two years, I'd say pretty slim, but within five years, I'd say 50-50. Yeah, me and me and the fiance were, were talking about Nagy and Annie Dalton should just go go lead one of those USFL teams and just kick ass, take names, go undefeated, rebuild their uh, resume, come back in in 2023. Oh, I mean, playoff expansion is, is is mandatory in my opinion. Either eight or 12 teams. I'm all about it. 100% in on it. Sermon out here. Making the plays and the runs and the reads. Are you? What a what a great game. Yeah, I think especially cuz it sounds like the NFL's interested in in it, uh, I would say pretty likely that we get uh, an expansion team within the decade. By the way, guys, I've got a new Bengals rebuild episode up if you missed it. Would I have CeeDee Lamb or Jamar Chase for the next five years? God, that's tough, man. There's so many good receivers in the NFL right now. That's really tough. Uh, CD looks really good. It's hard for me not to pick CD right now, as much as I like Chase. Locations for an expansion? Ah, that sucks. Roughing. Um... St. Louis or Austin are great picks. I think Austin definitely deserves a pro team. I, I think Austin's a great call. We're, we're definitely a little biased there, babe. But I could see it. Especially if the Texans... I mean, hell, I could just see the Texans fucking pack and shop and, and moving to Austin. if they lose the city entirely. Although then Houston would have a huge hole for a new team, but Toronto would be would be lit. St. Louis getting a team back would make a lot of sense. Man. What a day. Ireland, yes. Ah, I knew it was zero blitzing, so. Debo. Should we run a jet sweep to OJ Howard? An Alaska NFL team, I don't think so. I'd go to OJ Howard, but Kittle's got a much better setup here. Put RG3 in to protect Fromm. Yeah, seriously. Gosh, Kittle. Man, this is a slaughter.
56 points in the third quarter without my starting quarterback. Got a shank kicks. No, I, did, I did not do that on purpose. Sorry, Robbie Gold. Sorry, Lisa B. I know every time I miss a kick with Robbie Gold, it, it takes a little bit, bit of peace out of your heart. Jake Fromm is the future. Trade Lance. For real. Oh man, dangerous pass. Jake Fromm dropped in draft stock because it was slowly revealed how noodly his arm talent was, truly. Fred Warner versus Kyle Pitts. This is primetime matchup right here. Man, that's too rough in the passers. Come on, squad. What are we doing? I am going to put Ambry Thomas in there for some looks. Thanks, Ward. San Diego deserves a team. I think you're right. Chargers should just move home. It just never felt right. If Harbaugh got traded to the Browns, would they have been good? I'm going to say no. From interesting pass, but I'll take it. Will Baker be the Browns QB next year? My bet is yes. He's got to know sliding his guys like that's going to get him in trouble. Let's get Kittle out of here. Hey, Nixter, 20 damn months? You're a demon, man. Woo, Nixter coming in from across the pond. What's up, my dude? How you been? My dad just got back from Germany. He loved it. Yeah, definitely a test streamer. Just go for swats. Ooh, that would be really fun. Do a little quiplash among us something. That'd be really fun. You know, Hawk Boy, it's not a bad call. Seahawks rebuild would be pretty good. Oh, Kyle Pitts. That's all right. I'd rather not go on offense again and again again anyway. Still liking it out there, Nixter? Out in the Germanies. I 
I don't know why Fred Warner is in. Thought I subbed all these guys out, to be honest. There's Kinlaw. <laughs> What was that? Most promising defensive head coach candidate. Uh, I wouldn't be terribly surprised to see Todd Bowles get another look. Because his one look was for the Jets, and we know how that goes. Um, Matt Eberflus, of course. Aaron Glenn, I think, will get there someday. Probably not this year. Patrick Graham, again, kind of surrounded by trash. Oh, we almost did something sweet there. Miles Garrett or Aaron Donald? Man, that's crazy that that's a conversation now, isn't it? I mean, obviously, if I'm starting a new franchise, I'd take Miles Garrett because he's younger. My gut tells me Miles Garrett either way. There you go, Nickster. All right, now we can knee it out. GG's everybody, GG's. You can catch the replay up on the tube. Everybody have a great night. I will see you soon for another game, I'm sure. But until then, appreciate everybody. Thank you for the Twitch Primes from Nixter and from Trackstar. You guys, the real MVPs, along with Jake Fromm. Peace out.